do 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 I think we may or may not be live. I could be wrong. But we might be live, everyone. And when I say everyone, I mean nobody, because there's nobody here right now. But you know what? I'm talking to myself. And that's half the battle. Waiting for people to show up. But also, grabbing some things and talking. I'm talking to myself. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you know what I should do? That's a good idea. Are we going? Are we live? Is it making sense? Are we broadcasting? Are we dropping frames? I don't think we are, actually. But we might not be live. Maybe we haven't. Yeah, we're live. We're live. Okay, good. Well, then I'll tweet that we're live. Excellent. Hopefully we are going. Let me pull up the stream. Get a little bit of streamception going on. Just want to make sure. Hey, cool. I can hear me. It sounds good. You're off star. How you doing? Demix, how you doing? Oh my goodness. Okay, good. Everybody's here. I can unveil myself now. Hello! How are you guys doing? Good morning, good morning, or afternoon, or evening, good night, whatever it is for you. Wherever you are out in the world, I hope you're all doing fantastic. Welcome to Dan's Cave. I've missed you too, you're off. How you doing? How you doing? Right before we started, we got a couple follows, like right in a row. It was kind of nuts. Uh, it looks like Gino and I'm a kitty cat meows. Uh, follow the channel. So thank you, I'm a kitty cat meows. And it looks like we had lines recessed, uh, resubscribed earlier, Hannah Marie 91, Hidari, uh, Hidari Jokia, and uh, Melikins, and Blake uh, uh, Kialamek. Uh, also resubscribed in between uh, streams and such. And hey, hi, I'm Dan. It's been, it's been crazy last week. I hear you. What it do, lads? How goes it, Demix? Just wondering what happened in the 24-hour stream. Well, that's what one of the things I wanted to explain. I wanted a little bit more people to come in before I kind of explained it. But just pretty much technical difficulties defeated me super hardcore, including, like, the day after. Um, I've been having some issues with my computer, like, both my computers. I'm going to, like, the stream computer, my last ditch effort is going to be to reformat it. Um, but... In general, I've got my stream computer going. It should be fine now. Um, but I was also trying to get my laptop going. It was a whole thing over the weekend, and then it was just... I kept having to push things, and it was like... Pushing a 24-hour stream really fucks shit up for me. <laughs> just because it's like when I'm trying to plan stuff um, and get stuff going, it, it really... It's tough to push a 24-hour stream just because... So... It was just moving it off the weekend, uh, it, it, it just got really complicated for me. Um, and I'm sorry that there wasn't much communication with it just because um, it was, I was feeling really shitty about it. And I also didn't I didn't get the podcast done for Patreon at the, like, at the end of the month when I wanted to, just before that 24-hour stream. And it was just a whole thing. And I've now, my sleep schedule is all fucked up because of it, because the, it hasn't happened. And oh my goodness, it's just been a whole thing. Um, but so yes, 24-hour stream in theory, should be going on this weekend, on Saturday. Um, I'll have a more definitive answer. What's today? so today's uh, Tuesday, Wednesday? Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah. So I should have a more definitive answer probably tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, hi, I'm Dan. Just doing a shorter stream this morning um, and then checking back in later. I have a render going on on my computer. I did some more recording for the YouTubes earlier. I've been starting Isaac back up. Um, so I've been getting recordings going on with that and want to get some other recordings going on and also some more streaming going on. And so it's just trying to play a gigantic thing of catch up. And here we are. K-Shore, Kid Spaded, how you doing? All right, hello. Oh, my God. Batman. Interrupting sub message. Sorry about your computer, Daniel. Oh no worries, Aaron X. We got it. Like the the stream computer is going, and I imagine it should run better now that we actually got the um, OBS update that had come around. Um, because I use Streamlabs OBS, and OBS recently did a thing. I guess with Nvidia released like an encoding thing that's far less um, like kind of intense 
uh, intensive on the computer. So if you're using your graphics card, NVIDIA graphics card to render um, your stream, uh, it's just far less intensive while you're playing games and stuff and less likely to drop frames and everything. So hopefully everything should be running smoothly and fine uh, because it, I recorded earlier and it went absolutely fine on the stream computer. I guess it's just using the two PC setup that I the way I want it to is... Because I wanted to be able to, if I was rendering something on one computer, I could still do stream console games. Um, and it's just a little bit complicated now that the uh, stream computer completely borked right after. It seemed the issues were still continuing on, um, the issues that were already there in the first place. I guess the, outside of the power supply, there were some like, hiccups going on. So I'm going to try to reformat it and see if that works and just kind of start from scratch on that that, that other stream computer. But I mean, that's just kind of the last ditch effort for that. It has a really old graphics card. That also might be part of it because that it's it just, it's, it's hiccuping a lot and having some issues um, and completely kept just freezing up and being annoying. Um, Aaron Nixie, though, thank you for the 16 months with Twitch Prime. So much love to you. I think, thank you so much for the support. One Trick Gaming, how you doing? Life's been pretty great recently. Uh, started streaming again and almost hit 20 followers. Score! Hope you have a great day. You too, One Trick Gaming. Get baited. What's on the menu today? We're making some kale chips. Hey oh hey yo. Was just waiting for some people to trickle in. But we already have the, the oven preheating um, to 350 degrees. So, if you like snacks and healthy-ish snacks, um, healthy-ish snacks, pretty healthy snacks, kale's good. Um, if you've never tried kale, um, it's it's pretty tasty when you when you make it in chip form. Anyway, getting ahead of myself. Yeah, just like healthy snacks and stuff. If you like chips, you like something to munch on. Um, this is something that's super simple and easy to do. All you have to do is go to the grocery store, buy like a stock of uh, kale. I have right here. Uh, oh, I, I, we're going to make a couple different batches here because I have an idea. But um, just literally, this is like two bucks for a, for this is like organic kale. Um, it's like a little bit, it's, it's multiple like little stalks. Um, and it's just, yeah, it, it's generally a not that super great tasting leaf. It doesn't really taste like much. I mean, I don't know. You can mix it into a salad. Super easy. Um, and yeah, you can just make kale chips within roughly 15 minutes. All you have to do is preheat the oven get the stuff ready while you're preheating it, and then it takes 10 minutes to cook, and then you have a batch of kale chips that you can kind of just beat, and it's tasty and good, and hi, I'm Dan. That's what we're doing today. But I want to try something that I haven't tried before that I wanted to do last time I made kale chips, and we'll see if it actually uh, shakes out the way I want to. I want to make some hot sauce kale chips um, where we actually... Uh, mix in some hot sauce into the into the mix because I forgot to do that last time I made kale chips and I really wanted to. So yeah, all the things, all the things. So much love to y'all. Oh my goodness, so many people here. AK Solo Four. Hell yeah, able to drop by again. Nice. Borderlands Three got a release date. When's it coming out? I did see that they announced something. I didn't see whatever that it was. Um, but I was hanging out in um, Kale Anonymous's stream. Um, what, what's his uh, stream called? Powerful Gaming, I believe, or Power... Yeah, Powerful Gaming, I believe. Um, he was doing... Um, uh, playing the pre-sequel, which I haven't seen footage of the pre-sequel in so long, but he was getting that Borderlands itch and didn't want to play the first couple. He was just saying, you know, because the games get wackier and wackier as they go, I should actually start getting things ready. Um, he was just saying he wanted to hop right into the, the top-tier wacky. Um, so, yeah, you just needed, like, you know, bacon pan, something like that bacon sheet that you can have here, parchment paper to put down at the base of it to put uh, the kale chips on and all that jazz, but pretty much this is a super simple process. I say you take one or two of the stalks of the kale. Ooh. I put them in a Ziploc bag after I get them back from the store just so they're sealed and sold. You don't need more than that, really. I mean, you can only fit so much on a pan, so this will be for the first go-round. But, uh, pretty much. You go there, buddy, so I can set this guy there. I just rinse them. Rinse the leaves. I don't know how well we can see here. Ooh. Think rinsage time. Um, 
but yeah, no, it was a pre-sequel. I had not seen much in a long time on that game, and I never played much of it myself outside of checking it out at events. And we were invited out to 2K a million years ago to check it out as well. That I mean, it was pretty neat back in the day. Any homemade dips for the chips? I mean, I typically, I mean, I, the it has pretty good flavor by itself. But I don't know. Kale chips are pretty delicate. It would crumble if you really tried to dip it too much. I would say. <clears throat> well, I didn't mean to get two pieces there, but whatever. I'm going to set that there. Um, it's more so the, the recipe of the chips themselves. But it's not too complicated. It's literally just oil, a little bit of seasoning going around in there. September 13, 2020 on Steam. Oh, nice. I saw that... Uh, the Conjuring 3 got a release date, September 11, 2020. I literally just read that earlier. Seems all the September 2020 releases are getting announced now. Makes sense, though. About a year and a half out. Absolutely makes sense. All right, so chip size and strategy for chippage is as follows. Oh, speaking of 2K visit, that's why we have an Evolve sticker there. Um, I just pretty much take... Uh, about like you know three fingers worth, and uh, <laughs> just you know, just tear it off about that much. I mean maybe a little bit bigger isn't too bad, but uh, don't try to make it too long and like curly where it's gonna fold over. But I kind of put them out um, little by little on the plate or onto the pan and make sure it's all um, pretty well spanned out and such. Sometimes I do smaller chips, but I mean for the most part they shrink in general anyway. So they can be kind of sizable. But if they're too big, it's not going to cook all the way, like, properly. There's too much meat to the, the leaf. But, I mean, I like the edges. The edges are nice and crunchy. They get nice and crunchy. And sometimes if you rip off a piece that's too big, you can just rip it in half. Man, handle that, those leaves. Should I have music going, or is this is the silence and the crunching great? Can you hear the crunching? Do you need closer for the crunching? It's like good Foley, right? ASMR kale. Boop, boop, boop. Not on Steam, it's not. Mic is a bit muffled. Does it sound like it's coming out of this? Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Does it sound like it's coming out right here? Yeah, that should be. I mean, that's just the, the webcam. It's just because I'm not using my super nice microphone. Unfortunately. The Gotham Joker. Oh, I haven't seen the... I, I, well, I did see the picture of the Gotham Joker, but I haven't been following Gotham, so I can't really, like, speak to the, the quality of the, the Gotham show. But in general, I, I have not followed Gotham. Should I follow Gotham? I saw the picture that they tweeted of uh, uh, the Jason Masuso kid or whatever his name is. I can't remember what his name is, but uh, the, the Jason kid is Batman from behind, I guess, the back of the cowl. And then I did see the picture of the Joker, which looked weird, but I guess they're flash forwarding, which is interesting. Interesting way to go with the story and such. You Oh, you don't watch either. You just saw the pic. I think the trailer for the Joker just came out earlier. I, I didn't see it. I've been getting set up for the stream. But in general, I did see that the Joker trailer came out. And then the new Avengers trailer came out yesterday. Along with the uh, tickets and such being on sale. Everybody get their Avengers tickets. All right. Like I said, these two should make up a pretty much a whole... For the most part, a whole thing. You're in the middle of math class. Don't get in trouble, Camden. People get in trouble sometimes. <laughs> you shouldn't be tuning in during school. It's the morning cooking stream with Dan. Not the morning algebra class featuring... Oh, God. Yeah, that little piece isn't going to do much. Oh, my goodness. Camden hack. Thank you for the 50 biddos. Did you just bits while you were in math class? 
Camden, if you get in trouble. I'm going to try this out as my hot my hot sauce. Maybe not. No, let's just make a regular batch. The second batch will be the hot sauce, and we'll see if that's uh, fire, as the children say. These stocks kind of get like, you know, the leaves kind of get folded up into each other. Don't be shy. Go for the meaty pieces. This is a good, this is a good chip right here. It gets nice and, uh, you know, nice and crispy. Kale chips are like melt-in-your-mouth chips. Uh, but of the veggie variety, uh, kale is a good source of iron. You know, it's a, it's a nice little snack. If you're looking to get uh, some more veggies going on here. You can probably get a good rip off of that. That looks fine. You're in the UK, so just waiting uh, for it to be put on the store. I gotcha. For Borderlands. Oh, the remaster? I did see... Uh, uh, Kale was talking about that yesterday on stream. <clears throat> Camden, think of the 100 bidos. My goodness. Now 100 plus 50 equals 150. Don't tell your teacher I told you the answer to that one. All right, so uh, we have our kale. It is all, uh, you know, chipped up. Now what we need to do is we get got to get our oil mixture going on. So what I use, if I'm getting a little wacky sometimes, I use a, a, a couple different oils. I don't know if this is like a crazy weird thing to do or whatever, but I use a couple different oils. Um, and uh, just a Mrs. Dash seasoning. Um, this is onion and herb. Uh, this is generally what I use. It's pretty tasty. Or onion and herb um, for the UKers out there. Um, I'm sorry if I just insulted you. Please stay. Don't leave. Don't leave. Um, okay, but I, I, I generally count in glugs. Uh, just do a quick glug of extra virgin olive oil. So just a glug. Um, that was a kind of like a glug glug. Um, try not to do the extra glug, but I mean, it's kind of impossible. I think that's kind of how it works. A um, little bit of olive oil. A little bit of an avocado oil, which I'm kind of running well on, just a little bit. Um, I lost all my UK fans. Again, just a glug of that. Oh, gosh. You don't need a like, crazy, super crazy amount of oil, but you need to make sure it coats on the, the thing. And then um, a little bit of uh, coconut oil. You could probably get an actual, like, um, you know, liquid kind, but we have, like, all-purpose, the just the... <laughs> the coconut oil thing, and then I just mix it up in a bowl. Boop! So, it's a little blown out. Here, let me turn that off, I guess. There you go. So I just mix it up in the bowl. Uh, we also have the seasoning. I just put the seasoning in, in a second. Ding, 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 ding. It just mixes down into the oils. And then I just do, like, a dash of Mrs. Dash. That's literally it. Like, bit, bit, bit. That's about it. I don't go crazy with it, but then I do some salt and uh, a crack of salt. A couple cracks of salt. Once it's done. Once they're done baking. Plastic. <laughs> Can't believe Dan lost all his UK fans. My school is hosting a cultural diversity uh, penal. Today, in your culinary class, we cooked food for them. Oh, nice! All right, anyway. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's your mixture right there. It's literally just oil and seasoning, and that's literally it. So, I then take the oil mixture and d d drizzle it across the kale. Just drizzle it across, mix it in. It's so fantastic. It's so fantastic, everybody. Now make sure you get it all in there. Our second batch will do the, we'll test out the hot sauce. But make sure I don't forget. <laughs> because I will. What was that? What was what? Something happened? We dropped some frames? Major noise just happened? Ooh. On the stream? I'm so sorry. What happened? I have no idea. Did I clang? Was it me clanging? It might have been me clanging. I'm so sorry if that was me clanging. But just make sure it, for the most part, gets covered. Everything gets a little bit of oil on it. 
Sorry for your major noise. There was a high pitch sound. That's not good. Was it me scraping the? Uh, it might be me scraping the plate. Very might well might have been that. Sorry, everybody. I'm new at this. I'm trying to be gentle. All right, that's fine. I'm uh, you know, don't damage the leaves. <laughs> but everything has a nice you know, sheen to it now. So all we have to do now is load up our pan. I'm a bit anal retentive with the way I plate. Get some parchment paper. And typically this is pretty quick whenever I'm making this during during the day or whatever, you have time in the morning during your routine. It's not super intensive. It's really just a setup that's kind of a little, takes up a little bit of time. But then you're just leaving the, the chips to do their thing, and it literally takes 10 minutes or less. So, chips. These guys are ready. They're ready for their moment. Vegan Tyler, how are you doing? I think this is a this should be a vegan friendly recipe, right? I don't think I'm using it. I'm using coconut oil. I'm using avocado oil. I'm using all the oils. Don't think I, Mrs. Dash doesn't have any animal product in there. There we go. Vegan Tyler, write this down. You know how to make kale chips, right? Isn't that like a aren't all vegans? Isn't that part of the thing? It's part of the code. I think you have to know how to make kale chips. It's not tough, everybody. Like I said, this is the entire... That you've done... If you've done... The, don't think any point up to this point has been hard, then you're ready to make some kale chips because this is all... I We've done the entire hard part. You now just stick this in. I mean, not burning the chips, I guess, is the rest of it, but that's just using your eyes. And if you see fire, you went too far. Redo without the fire. Please don't burn your houses down, people. It's just kale. It's a tasty leaf. See, this one's a little long, but I think if we actually like, that should be tasty though. Nice tasty piece. Has anybody made kale chips before here in the chat? Is this your jam? It was like a rodent deterrent, Sam. We, we don't have those. We generally, we ha I have a little like uh, Febreze sprayer that goes, <laughs> but it's not like a ee. So I don't know what that is. Maybe there's somebody shooting a supersonic ray at my apartment in an attempt to drive me slowly insane. But that's just what a crazy person would say. <laughs> you can hear me, right? Or is it, should I, should I make my microphone louder? I could probably tweak it up a little bit if it sounds too muffled or quiet. Otherwise, we're doing fantastic. Sorry, my microphone isn't better out here. Maybe we can get a better audio set up here in the future for the kitchen. But I hope you're all having a fantastic morning. I can't wait to try out the uh, hot sauce round. Although, do you think the oil, like, would you, you would mix in the hot sauce with the other stuff, right? Mike is fine. So we, Geralt, I hope you're doing fantastic. Drones, how you doing, bud? Oh, my goodness. Lovely seeing you, friend. I hope you're doing fantastic. See, like, this is kind of folded in. I, I like the good, long, crispy ones, but I think I'm going to break that one in half. Just because it's going to get folded over. And I try to make them all fit as much as possible. Because you can do the entire thing. Is kale good? I strongly recommend you try this out. If, again, if you don't think this looks that tough, what I've done, I'm being really slow about putting these in, but I'm trying to keep up with the chat as well. Um, the uh, this is this is all the work that is required. I don't think I'm gonna have enough space. I think I got some two big, pretty big stalks there. Ah, I think we can make space. We make the space marine. Man, I heard a rumor. And when I say I heard a rumor, I mean I read an article 
that was saying that the Master Chief Collection supposedly is hitting PC this month with Reach starting out. I like that, if that's the case. Ooh. Sorry, I'm spacing these out, getting it going. We need like a shotgun mic for this so we can get extreme ASMR going on. But I find the kale chips to be pretty tasty. Like I said, kale itself doesn't have it it doesn't have a strong personality. You gotta bring personality to it. But it's a good complimentary thing. And it, like kale chips are great. I think kale chips are fantastic. So we got this uh pan. Just gonna put it in the oven and uh, set the timer for 10 minutes. I usually start looking around eight, you know, seven to eight minutes. It's when you really got to keep an eye on it. Otherwise, you got some tasty chips coming to you real soon. All right, so let's do it. Putting them in, hot, hot. Ooh. 10 minutes on the timer now. We can actually prepare our second batch while that timer is going on. So, Danae, you worry. Kale is still here. And we have our thing there. Bum, 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 bum. Kale is actually pretty good, to be honest. I like kale. It's healthy for you. Have you ever made baba ganoush? I have not. Did I miss Vegan Tyler's answer? Or did Vegan Tyler, is he still here? Hello. You're good. You're at the office today, uh, just grading stuff, and yeah, usually kale chips are vegan. There you go. Unless they're just doused in. I'm having beef kale chips today. Ooh. I just don't want to get too much, man. This is a big old one. I could probably get an entire thing out of this. You think? This is huge. Some of the edges are a little browned. Browned edges are good to eat, right? I mean, in general, it's fine, though. Just the edges at the very tip top. All right, let's start with that guy, because it might be enough for our second round. A minute and a half down. To flop, how you doing? Doing well, drinking coffee and on the computer. Nice. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're doing fantastic. Although it's well, it's still the morning for you. Nice. I'm catching people in the proper morning. See, a lot of the time, the last couple of days, um, I've been trying to get like the stream going on, but I my sleep schedule's been so fucked since trying to get the 24-hour stream going on the other day. And I've been like awake at over throughout the morning and night, and then passing out in the morning. Night and morning, you know what I mean. You understand what I mean. But I hope you're all doing fantastic today. And I hope you all have a great day. With whatever you got going on. Just trying to wriggle some water off there. Not too good, but you guess you're fine. I got you, Fluff. Well, much love to you, bud. 11 days till Game of Thrones. Nice. We're counting down. I need to actually catch up on the first season. I really want to watch the first season. I was talking about that on the um, the Patronoli podcast uh, on, on the Patreon. And like, I'm, I'm pretty hyped. I kind of want to go through the first season and maybe the last season. But who knows if I'll have time. I mean, it's not that long. So I don't imagine it would be impossible to do that. First season and last season. Especially since the last season didn't have that many episodes. All right. Boop. Let's rip some pieces. I'm just gonna like it's literally like right pretty much from here. I'm gonna try to just rip the edges off. In general, the leaf looks fine, it's just that edges are browned. The dog don't care for brown edges. Everything else looks great, though. Perfect. Wholesome Dan is wholesome. Fuck yeah. Wholesome Dan! Fuck yeah! See, I wish we had the sound bites going and stuff. I have the Alfredo Batbot going, but I turned sounds off just because 
Um, I don't have them set up on this on the laptop. So I have my my Streamlabs bot running in the uh, other room on my computer, which was currently doing a render. I was talking about earlier for more Isaac episodes, which will be kicking off. I'm kicking off my uh, new um, save file for Isaac Afterbirth and just kind of starting from scratch. It's been pretty fun getting back to it, unlike a few episodes in at this point. The game was too easy for you. Which game? Got to the very last boss. Got stuck. Are you guys talking about need to reinstall? Are we talking about Sekiro? What are we talking about? You're still on the third episode of Game of Thrones, but you've kept up with what happened on the show. Oh, so you've like you're like me with the Fast and Furious franchise, where it's like I have only seen the first couple of uh, movies. I almost said episodes. I've only seen the first couple of movies, but I still know the storyline of like the entire series from afar, despite me only seeing up to Too Fast, Too Furious. All right, we're five minutes down. Let's take a look at the chips. Can you see them? Oh, the thing's blocking them a little bit. They're in there. They're cooking. They're starting to shrivel just a, just a tidge. They're very green. They get very green, and then they start to get a little brown. Or kind of like an in-between. An in-between green, one might say. Been playing a lot of Binding of Isaac recently. Oh, nice. Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, I see. See, yeah, I, I was watching Eads play Kingdom Hearts 2, and he was going through Mr. Talking Reckless Podcast. Um, he was going through, and he rage quit. I mean, he completed Kingdom Hearts uh, 2. <laughs> But he completely rage quit that game. And I still haven't got... I need to get back to uh, the first Kingdom Hearts. I was planning on doing some of that during the 24-hour stream. Which uh, tentatively moved to this weekend. Should be this weekend, Saturday. Um, should be no problem to actually hit it this weekend. I'm really sorry that it didn't happen this weekend. Uh, or this last weekend that just came by. Which effing fucking pissed me off. Because I was like literally minutes away from starting the stream. And then the computer started freezing up and being a big old pain in the ass. After already dealing with it for hours before that, it was just a big old pain. And I can't stand when things just like... And I had to like operate on the PC, switch things back after that. That borked a few things. Something wasn't uh, hooked in right. It took me a little bit to figure that out. Got that fixed. Uh, and actually, it was all user error, but, but I, by the time it was all, uh, like, actually set, I was just like, fuck. <laughs> Technical difficulty stuck, uh, stuff sucks, and you gotta be patient, and I try to be as much as I can, but plugging things and unplugging things back in and dealing with all that stuff can just be a pain at points. When I was like, okay, now when I, if I start now, which is like, six to eight hours after I was intending on starting, I would have to wait 24 hours to then be done and then go to... Like, it's just tough to postpone a 24-hour stream. Um, so that's why I postponed it and then was hoping to pick it up the next day, but it really just was not working out. So, sorry, everybody. Never had kale chips? Oh, they're so good, Blake. Kale chips are tasty. I think I've... Uh, that's not enough, but... I can probably do like a second round for these kind of closer to the stock pieces. You can really kind of do the edges, but then you can kind of just do the closer to the stock pieces that still work out, as long as they're not too thick. If it's really thick with the veins, don't go there because they're not really going to crisp up too much, but that piece was fine. Um, we might maybe need... Although we'll just make a smaller batch for the second go around because I wanted to do... This is going to be my... Um, my uh, hot ones. I want to do a bit of sriracha on this. All right, we got two minutes left. These are done. Those are, oh, nope, we want to keep that on. Stay baked. I know it's done. All right. We got to move fast. They're going to burn. <laughs> so that was about eight minutes in the oven. It's pretty quick. But those right there are perfecto. They're brown, they're still green, they look crispy, and fantastic. Final go around, I just kind of do a crush of salt. I have like a little salt crusher, just go over pretty much just one layer, crack over it all. I don't like it being like super salty or anything. 
Um, but yeah, nothing crazy. I don't think I can really. Where's my. We have a thing so I can put this closer for y'all to see. That should be fine, or is there a big. I think this should work. This way y'all can actually get a view. And hopefully I don't melt my laptop. Let's go. Haley, how are you doing? I Yes, the, Haley is partially responsible for me really get, kind of getting back into making kale chips regularly. Um, yeah. Perfect. Boop. So we have our kale chips. Lovely, lovely kale chips. Which you can kind of just... They're a little oily, so I put them on a plate with a paper towel just to sop up some of the oil. Because I don't like them crazy oily, but they're, I mean, they're just kind of inherently oil. oily. Oh, the dumb children! Dun dun dun! Dun 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 dun! Daintily slide them off your spatula onto the papier tachier. Oh, God. So that in lies our first batch. Oh, this is a couple of them. Our first batch. Oh, kale chips. And they're ready to eat. Super simple. All done for the first batch. We're not completely done yet, but let's taste them, see how it goes. Um, Fuzzleberry, how you doing? You planning on playing Days Gone? I don't think so, Demix. Maybe at some point, but not immediately. Bum, bum. Just over to bake the bakery for the day. Nice, uh, Blake. Have you tried Himalayan salt? I don't think so. I've tried crazy salt. This is so close to being a little overdone, but this is perfect. It's literally like melting your mouth. These are tasty. These are really good. And the seasoning I use, literally just like Mrs. Dash salt free. Really good. Ah. <laughs> it is. It's just like the texture is like. I mean, it's like a leaf. <laughs> you are getting leaves. But it's just like. <laughs> it's so good. Dan, is this your breakfast? I had some eggs earlier. Uh, I made some bomb ass scrambled eggs for Liz and I. Ow. All right. Let's mix up our last batch of kale here. While we snack on these two. Ow. One right there, too. No. Okay. So, gotta get a new mixture going on. Again, I work in plugs. Is it filling at all? Oh, yeah. Like, um... I can't eat, like, a crazy amount, and you'll kind of get, like, I don't know if it's because I eat eggs and kale a lot, kind of, like, at points, so it's, like, I'll get kind of, like, burpy a little bit, and I'll, I'll definitely taste the kale, <laughs> uh, but it's not, like, a bad taste or anything. It's just, um, it's, uh, you know, gets your stomach going and stuff, helps you digest, and I'd, ima I'd imagine, uh, to a certain extent... Um, but also I've been working out a lot, so that generally gets my digestion going right after uh, I eat stuff um, at points. So that could just be a me thing, too. You must try some of Dan's kale chips now. You make them your own. They become drones kale chips. 
Now, should I do like the oil mix? Haley, I'm going to add some sriracha to it. You think I should just do it in with the oil mix? Or should I do it on the... I should do it on the lead, like on the kale after, right? Like do the oil first, drizzle, mix, and then maybe do some... I'll just drizzle the hot sauce and toss it a little bit on there. But that way it would actually be kind of... Yeah, I wouldn't mix it in with the oil. Because then it's actually a bit more potent, I'd imagine. Right? 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 don't want to dilute the taste. I'm not looking to make a oil that is super spicy. I'm looking to make chips that are, you know, crispy and good, but have a spice to them. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Get a nice base. Oh, you think I should mix it in with the oil? Recently started cooking stir fries. Very nice. Liz was doing, uh, has made some um, egg fried rice at points recently, and it's just been delicious. Y'all, I hope you're enjoying watching me make some kale chips. <laughs> We got our like oil base going on here. You can't really see it too well, but whenever I turn the light off, it's definitely better. We got our oil mixed in here. It's literally just a glug. It's a it's a glug of extra virgin olive oil, a glug of uh, just a quick little bloop, um, a glug glug of avocado oil, and just a little couple like scrape spoonfuls of not big scrape spoonfuls, just like a scrape spoonful of uh, um, some uh, coconut oil. Uh, yes, afterward, probably, yeah. I think that's what we're going for. I could probably just use the same parchment paper, right? That shouldn't be a big deal. All right. So, got our bowl. Mix I just set over there. Where what happened to my spoon? I guess it was already in there. So, again, boop. We'll do some fun stuff. This is why I was setting this over here. <clears throat> Don't burn yourself, Daniel. Perfect. All right. I didn't do any of the Mrs. Dash. Last piece here. Working uh, hard to bring your glucose back under control. Oh, nice, Fragum. How you doing? Oil mix, maybe? I'm going to give this a shot. How I'm thinking. We'll see how it goes. It'll be a bit stronger tasting, but I don't mind that. That's what I'm looking for. So, again, just mixing in my mix there with the seasoning. Nothing crazy. Just some Mrs. Dash and some oil. Again, super simple. I mean, it's probably more oil than I need for the amount I have here, so I probably won't put it all on there. It's a little bit much compared to what I had on before for how many ever leaves are in here. Just a little bit, but not all of it. Maybe try to get some of that season stuff in there a little bit more. <laughs> that should be perfect, though. Doesn't need to be too oily. Good morning, good morning. System Z, how you doing? Doing your own uh, weightless journey for weight loss journey for a few weeks? Nice score. I've been recently trying to get into the regimen of doing P90X and actually like kind of getting a bit more intense with my workouts. It has been a sore experience. <laughs> I have been the sorest I've ever been in my life. Just because it's like a lot of like just things where you're doing like Heisman runs and stuff. So you're like, and you're supposed to be kind of pretty much, you're pretty much doing like football training where you're doing like, <clears throat> <clears throat> and you're just doing that for like 45 seconds and then like three other things and then going back around into that and then like switching it up and stuff. And it's like crazy hard and tense. And I'm kind of liking it. So, you know, you got to have fun with it. All right, I'm just going to kind of like... Seems fine to me. I'm not going to go crazy with it. We got some dollops in there. You can see it. It's not crazy. And I'm just going to stir it up a little bit. And let it fly as it is. It's nothing crazy. The dollops aren't mixing super well just because they're like caught under the leaves. All right, here we go. It's mixing up just a tidge. I can see it. I can see it. This should be actually great. Okay, I'm not going to mix it up anymore. Looks good. Looks like it has like a nice, it's still, you might see some red in there still, but otherwise, 
I could still see the red on the leaves. I don't know if you can or not, but yeah, there's still some red on the leaves you can see. I didn't want to over mix it. I should be fine to use the same thing. All right, let's get this dished up. And then in the oven. Trying not to start a grease fire dam, they call me. He says as he sets the oil bowl near the oven. All right. Boop. Let's get it spritzed out. Please don't burn me. Doing fantastic. Hell yeah. Well, thanks for stopping by. Got one more batch in us, and then we'll be wrapping up. See, there's still some red on there that'll bake up nice. I'm, see, I'm wondering how it's going to cook, if, it, if it'll still maintain its taste. I'd imagine it will. So this might be very delicious. So what's everybody been watching? You been watching anything fun? Anybody watching uh, Twilight Zone on the CBS All Access or check out the free episode on YouTube? That's not a sponsored thing. I just watched the first episode on YouTube. I'm waiting for them to release all the episodes so I can actually like sign up for CBS All Access and watch Star Trek and that. Because <laughs> I need to catch up on Star Trek. I'm so far behind. I only watched the first half season of Star Trek Discovery. And then I just uh, de like canceled my CBS All Access and then never went back. So that's where I'm at with Star Trek. It's kind of like Gotham. It's exactly like Gotham. I watched the first half season of Gotham. Then it went on break, and then I just never went back to the show. Shows need to stop doing a mid-season break. Look, I get it. It's great for your actors' schedules and probably the people making the show. But as a viewer, it sucks. I'm ready to watch. <laughs> I want an episode every week, damn it. <laughs> Castlevania on Netflix never got around to the second season. Oh, dang. I've been watching uh, Death, Love, and Robots on Netflix. That show's pretty intense. This is terrible spacing I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of trying to plop them down and get them out there. But there's only so many, so I can really keep this spaced out. Keep it spaced out, man. I'm excited for these. I can smell them. They smell very hot, hot saucy, so I think those bips were a good amount. I think this is the plan from now on. I might be making hot. Spicy kale chips from now until the end of the days. See, that, again, I like it's kind of like every other day or every day I'll make kale chips because it doesn't take too long. And again, it's a super cheap little snack. It's like two bucks, oil, parchment paper. I mean, it's nothing crazy. It's not a crazy expensive setup. And you get like, it's really like a stock or two gets you a, like pretty much a serving size or you know a shareable amount. That last batch I made, that would be a shareable amount. This batch, um, I would say, is probably a, like a one-person batch. It's, it's a little bit less or still a shareable batch. But it's super easy to make. I'd imagine it's not the most popular thing at parties. I was about to say, like, you know, make some for your party, brah. But it, it, it's definitely, it's like spinach or something like that. It's, it, you know, you're eating a crispy leaf, so when you crunch it, it gets a little broken up in your mouth. It could get in your teeth and all that jazz. So, you know, it's like a spinach in your teeth sort of situation. Mm. Um, um, um. Okay, this is cool now, so I don't need to use this. So, going back in the oven, our spicy hot ones. You could still, you could see the red, well, not if I turn off the light, but... You can still see the hot sauce on the, the pieces and such. Should be good. See how it goes. I'll put the 10 minutes on the timer in a second. Don't burn yourself, Daniel. These chips are a little bit bigger, I think. 10 minutes on the clock, but we'll keep an eye out. How you doing? Doing good? Kale chip? <laughs> Getting quite into parsnips? I don't think I've been... Well, parsnips are kind of carrot-like, right? Aren't they like the white uh, or the yellow carrots? I 
have any trouble eating as much as you need to during the day. Your day, for, uh, day by day for two pound a week loss is like 2070 calories. Eating has uh, become a chore. I hear you. Yeah, no, it's tough. Like it's with my training stuff at points. It's it's like what should my caloric intake be? And a lot of the time, it's just like I don't have the appetite to really kind of like nah, 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 nah. if I were really to looking do to do significant gains. You know, there's multiple ways to really kind of up your protein intake and all that jazz. But I just don't like eating a whole bunch. I'm not a crazy, like, super big meal eater. I mean, I'll eat a meal. Excuse me. The kale chips are making me burp a little bit. Plus, I did a little bit of jumping around. But, uh, you know, in general, yeah, I'm a bit of a smaller meal kind of guy. But I like, yeah, you know, I like being full. And I like feeling good. Tried seaweed crisp one time. Never again. What's wrong with seaweed crisps? I don't think I've ever had, uh, ever had seaweed crisps. But, I mean, these are good. Um, it's, like, kind of like a not that – like like I said, it's it's whatever taste you really bring to it, um, whatever kind of mix you make with it. I don't do anything crazy with it. The seasoning I get isn't anything crazy. Um, it's it's really basic. It's not – Yeah, you could really spice it up. I'm sure there's plenty of other recipes online that can kind of give you a different kind of seasoning mix that will give you a little bit more of what, you, you know, maybe you're looking for taste-wise. But these things are pretty much a blank canvas. And the texture is really good. Like, that's the thing I really like about them is, like, they're literally, like, they're, like, little, can you even hear that? I don't know. if I was crunching it like you could maybe hear it. Ooh. Can you hear that? It's just so crispy and, you know, the oil really kind of makes it just delectable. But you can kind of see how it breaks up, and that's how it breaks up in your mouth. So definitely, you know, rinse your mouth out afterwards with a water swish, a good water swish. <laughs> All right. We're three minutes down. I'm just keeping a healthy eye on them because I don't want them to burn because it's a smaller batch than the other one. That's some good ASMR. Nice. Do you do keto? No. I have looked into it in the past, but, like, it's not anything crazy that I'm, like, super interested in. Um, I have looked into recipes before um, in regards to, like, because I love eggs. I'm a big egg fan. Um, and I, I had seen there was, like, a, a, a way, like, a keto diet where you could pretty much just eat eggs for the most part. Um, and I was like, that sounds interesting. Um but at the same time, uh, I like I like eating food, and I, I as much as I try to like I, I really try to be conscious about what I'm eating and focus on eating the right things and don't go too crazy with sugar or carbs or anything. But um, in general, I eat uh, you know sal like kale. Um, I like cutting up kale and putting it in my eggs. Um, uh, potato bread, salad, like baby spinach. Uh, bananas. We have some like uh, we just got some like cinnamon uh, cinnamon swirl cake stuff because it was on sale. So we're not always the most like super um, you know health conscious all the time. Um, that's sugary, carby stuff that we don't really need. But in general, I try to like lessen my sugar uh, sh sugar um, sugar and um, like wheat intake and all that stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. I eat whatever. And such. Zero carbs is pretty much impossible. Oh, yeah. Well, even on the keto diet, like, you can still consume a small amount of carbs. And it's no big deal. But no, I, you know, in general, the keto diet is like, eh, I'm not, I'm not a doctor. I can't, I mean, I know how to explain it, but um, in general, it's, it's, the idea is making your body burn fat as opposed to, um, uh, is it the fat as opposed to carbs um, for energy? So it's it's burning stored fat. You're pretty much tricking your body to switching into um, a, a different kind of drive where your body is creating ketones and putting your body into a state of ketosis where, like I just said, your, your body's switching into a, a mode where it's burning stored fat as your primary source of energy. But the way to do that is you have to have a very high concentrated diet that is focused on fat, um, fat intake. So you're, you're eating things heavy on 
um, uh, you know, heavy in oils and fats, and it's it's good fats, healthy fats, um, healthier fats, things that aren't bad for your diet or whatever. It's just a different kind of diet, and so you're tricking your body into doing that. And so pretty much, you're you're maintaining this high fat, low carb diet in order to to for your body to do that. It's really tough diet to maintain, and in general, seems not very practical to maintain over a long period of time. Generally, it seemed it seems like the diet's best for people looking to lose weight for a short term period, but not like a long term because that diet is just for me. Looking at it, it doesn't seem sustainable um, to me, Doctor Dan's. But again, I, this is just from the research that I've done myself looking around, and it doesn't seem like a, the worst diet in the world, but at the same time, it doesn't seem like something that um, seems plausible for the long term, at least in, in regards to my situation. And those look absolutely done. Do, 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 do. We have about three and a half minutes left, but that looks perfect. These are like how I would have wanted the first ones to turn out. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. That's nice brown and green. Chips, that is hot on my hand. All right, second batch down. Let's salt them. I'm assaulting my kale chips. I'm assaulting my kale chips. Sorry for the joke. It's a terrible joke. I'm so sorry. Um, we still have our first batch here that's just sitting here. Let's get ready for the second batch. Now let me bag these. I'll snack on these throughout the day. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Get in the bag. Ah! Ugh. Not healthy, you pretty much eat anything, but you have a high metabolism, so you can't uh, gain weight even if you try. Some people are in that lucky situation where it's like, you're just like, by virtue of your biology, um, you don't put on weight the same way other people do. Like, I, I, I just like, in general. But it's also, it does depend on what you eat, how you eat, and a lot of, there's a lot of things that seem to come into it. And that that's the argument sometimes. I've seen kind of that debate go on about like, you know, is it the diet? Is it the environment? Is it whatever? Is it genetics? Can this person have the same chance at losing or gaining weight or is it biology dependent and person de dependent and specific? I've seen that argument around in the in the um, exploration of you know my own weight loss and fitness journey, you know you tend to come across a lot of different schools of thought on what is the right thing to do in terms of diet and exercise or whatever. From my experience, it's just do the things you think you should do. Eat well. Eat more greens. Eat more. Um, you know, just eat, eat, make sure you have veggies in there. Get some fruits in there, a little bit of fruitage. Don't go crazy with the carbs or the sugary things, but, you know, look for the, the sugar in the fruits. You get a little bit of natural sugar and stuff like that. You also get some good fiber in all the things you're eating. You get some good energy boosts from the greens you're eating. You can have the same exact, you know, um, benefits, uh, see the same benefits. Obviously, the, the, the difference is taste. I think that's the biggest thing that people kind of kind of come around to, and sugar is just so addictive. Even like I, that's been the biggest struggle that I've found is that sugar is just so effing addictive. I've had points where I've been completely off sugar, had no issue, was like didn't even care about sugar. Like sugar was not so much a thing. I was still having sugar. There was still like sugar in the creamer in my coffee and stuff like that. But that was it. Like for the most part, outside of like whatever sugar they were putting in the food that I, you know, may not know about. But I've been trying to make way better conscious decisions about what I'm buying. And so most of those things aren't I, I'm trying to buy 
aren't loaded with a bunch of like sugar. Um, but you know, then I have an M and M, and it all just comes crumbling down. And I then you know I'm buying bag of M and Ms and snacking on M and Ms throughout the week and stuff like that. So it's like it's really easy to fall off that train. Got to run. See you, Camden. I hope your math class was great. That Joker trailer looks nuts. I haven't seen it yet, Joseph. I gotta wa I gotta watch it here. Almighty Chazel, how you doing? Well, we'll do a live reaction to it, if that sounds good. I gotta find a good piece that has uh, some spice on it. I can see, okay, right here. We got a chip. Oh, we got a chip that has a good splotch there. Can you see the red splotch? There it is. Look at that red splotch, y'all. Okay. This is the uh, spicy kale chip. Our second batch. Our first batch is currently uh, bagged up, so... I'll just snack on this throughout the day. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. See how it goes. These are perfect. These are 100% perfect. Okay. Getting the spice. Taste isn't fully there. Which is weird. Like I'm not getting that... Uh, I'm, I'm just getting the spice and just kind of a bitterness taste. Maybe tossing this in the sriracha after the fact, like now, like after it came out, maybe would have been a better idea, as opposed to cooking it in it, which I thought might happen. Spicy kale chips are a success. Definitely spicy, but a little bitter. I would, I was, I would be hoping for a bit more. Let's, let's hold on. Let me just put a little dollop on. Yeah, see, there's not that like sweetness of the along with the spice. Let's see here, because this one has a good, a couple good globs of cooked sriracha on there. Let me put a little bit of just regular sriracha on there. So there's some like some of the baked sriracha, and then a good glob of just regular sriracha on there. Next time, I'm just tossing them after. I should toss these with the sriracha. Like, there's no reason for me to cook it with the sriracha on it. Because that is delicious. Okay, don't cook it with the sriracha and make them, toss them in sriracha afterwards. Let them dry, you're good. That That is so good. In Gordon Ramsay voice, delicious. Finally, some good fucking spicy kale chips. That man. I kind of want to just... Let's do this. We're going to do this, y'all. Is this a terrible idea? This might be a terrible idea. I don't think you can toss kale chips, can you? Like, toss, uh... Because typically what I'll do sometimes, sometimes I'll buy, like, pretzels, and then I'll just put them in a, a Ziploc bag, put some sriracha in there, and then just toss them in the thing. Because I like sriracha. Sriracha's just tasty. Um, let's try a little bit of kale... Some sriracha in there. This might be a terrible idea, but we'll see. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Okay, that was a lot of globs. And it's all at the top. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh, Point Blank Cop, how you doing? Blank Cop. I just don't want to ruin the chips either. I think I'm going to probably... Well, no, it's not tearing, it's falling apart too much or anything. And I think the sauce is actually kind of getting around. Oh, this might be the best thing I've ever done ever. This sounds awesome. Live reaction. Kubai Khan, how you doing? Seems like a good keto snack now that you think of it. Yeah, it shouldn't be bad. Yeah, I was looking at um, like a keto egg fast thing. Uh, that was pretty much you're eating four eggs per serving with a piece of a slice of cheese if you wanted <laughs> if you wanted if you needed it and it and it, it, you know you're cooking it in two tablespoons of butter and you can like fold the cheese into it if you want so i, I was looking at different recipes like the guy had been on had done that fast a couple times you do that fast for like a week or two weeks or whatever and uh he had made like a bunch of different egg recipes because he got really bored with eggs after a bit um, whenever he was doing it. Oh, man, this is going to be so good. So whenever it's kind of like, you know, I'm tossing it. It's a little oily in there as well. But, like, it's just kind of 
the the hot sauce in general is kind of like bipped all around this. It's just so perfect to toss in. I think these are gonna be so good. I'm excited. It's awesome you've been struggling going back. Uh, I've been trying to live healthy since been diagnosed with diabetes. Dang, you have uh, been an inspiration to me. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, that's what what goes to show is like when you focus on your health, you you realize one, it's it, it it kind of only improves your life. You know, it's like being more active and being able to kind of take your health into your own hands is always a good thing, um, and it only helps you build, you know, personal strength. Physically and, you know, mentally, it, it helps you out. All right. This should be the best thing I've ever effing had ever. Okay. Now, yeah. toss it in sriracha afterwards. We've learned something this day. Okay. Let's pull up the Joker trailer. How? Oh. Hmm. These are tasty. All right. <laughs> Joker trailer time. I've heard good things. I, I heard the trailer premiered at CinemaCon yesterday. Mm. All right. Everything's off, right? Not going to burn down the apartment? Good. Good. Uh, it's been complete, uh, hard to completely cut sugar and limit carbs. It's been rough, but mostly a mental struggle. Really is what it is. It's making the right, right decisions for yourself. and the biggest thing is having that on, honest conversation with yourself. It's really tough to just like look yourself in the mirror and be like, we got to do this. Because I'm a crazy person. And I think I'm multiple people, like Harvey Dent. So I'm like, we got to do this, Dan. You and me. <laughs> oh, I didn't put the kale away. That's something we need to do. Let me just set that there. That shouldn't be a big deal. All right. Boop. Let's get this going. What would be the best way to do this? Is this going to start off where it's like... You've changed things forever. They're still going back. Here we go. Let's find the actual trailer. What's uh, Warner Brothers? Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers. <gasps> Need to find the official trailer here. Warner Brothers Pictures presents The Suicide Squad. No, shush, shush. It's a two and a half minute teaser trailer, but it's like, how can it be a teaser trailer if it's two and a half minutes long? All right. Boop. It's definitely not Leto's Joker. Of course not. I don't think it could be if they wanted to. Boop. Oh, hey, that's me. I don't think the border's working, but I'm on here, so that's good. Okay. Let me move me over here. Hopefully I'm not blocking too much with my big fat head on the screen. And let's do this. There we go. Perfecto. All right. Here we go. Is it all looking good? I can't tell because I can't see you, but I can pull you up on my phone real quick. <laughs> all good? I can see the chat now. Regardless of how the movie ends up, Phoenix is going to steal the show. Well, I, I've been excited for this. I've been talking. I've been on the record saying I'm really excited for this movie. I love Joaquin Phoenix. Um, I like Todd Phillips as a director. Um, I've, I've liked all of his movies up to this point, and I think he has a good sensibility, so it should really it should work out. All good? Okay, here we go. Uh, sorry, I'm going to have to have this loud enough for me to be able to hear it. So if there's a little bit of double up. Um, apologies. Arthur, does it help to have someone to talk to? Sure. My mother always tells the me staircase? to smile and put on a happy face. 
She told me I had a purpose to bring laughter and joy to the world. Very red hoodie. Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? Smile. He is Heart is aching. Smile. Even though it's breaking. So when there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by what? if you smile. <laughs> to your fear and sorrow, smile. And maybe tomorrow, <laughs> What's so funny? Just freak. I think this is an asshole. I love the golf that he's lost his way. What kind of coward would do something that cold blooded? Someone who hides behind a mask. <laughs> I used to think that my life was a tragedy. But now I realize it's a comedy. That was great. That looks so good. Do you see with the little slam dunk there at the end? Oh my goodness, I like that so much. Wow, holy crap. That looks really good. No laugh? You didn't hear the laugh, uh, uh Eads? There is a laugh. Oh, did I just spit out some kale chip? That's him laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you join late. <laughs> it's him. That was him, like on is sitting and watching a comedian on stage at like a at a kind of like a comedy club. Hi, I'm Dan. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Long time viewer, lurker, looking good, man. Oh, thank you so much. That looks so good. Titan, how are you doing? I, that looks really good. Uh, always ready for a Joker origin story. Yeah, it looks like it's definitely lifting from like the Red Hood stuff, like Killing Joke. Um, just from my general knowledge, it definitely looks very Killing Killing Jokeish um, in regards to the flashbacks for the Joker stuff. But man, that looks so good. That looks fantastic. It looks so sharp. It looks very well shot. Um, it looks like Joaquin's going for it, which is fantastic. Need more villain origins. Well, that's what they were planning on doing with, uh, what's it called, the, the Sinister Six movie a while back. But Sony, I mean, that's right before Tom Holland got injected into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and they were like, well, that, that's gone now. No more Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. But, my goodness, well, that was awesome. I hope you all enjoyed uh, that kind of look at that. Um, I don't often do reactions or anything, but that was, like, I that that's, you know, on brand here in the Dan's Cave. We had to watch the, the Joker trailer. That looks fantastic. Face paint looks a little eh, in your opinion. I really like the first teaser for this movie. Me too. Laugh on the train as well. Did he laugh on the train? <laughs> oh, smile. oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty damn good. I'm excited here in Canada looking a little eh is a good thing. Looking a little eh? Oh, man. Um, are you up to date on Game of Thrones? I am. I haven't, I mean, I haven't rewatched anything. I do want to go through season one and the last season. And I think I'm, I should have enough time. Somebody was saying 11 days. So we're close. 
I have not been watching any of the Game of Thrones teasers though, so no, I am not up to date, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be up to date. Last trailer I watched for Game of Thrones was the one where they were kind of walking through the crypt or whatever, um, that kind of teaser trailer one. Uh, if there's anything out there that kind of has something to, to do with this new season, I've been kind of avoiding it, um, just because it's about to come out. So everything's happening in April. Man, has anybody gotten their end game tickets yet? Because up over here, it's like everything's selling out in regards to end game, like the Thursday night showings um, here towards the end of April. So sold out, damn. Yeah, I, I, yesterday I was kind of worried because none of it, like AMC, wasn't working at all. Um, and then I was checking out. There's they only had one IMAX showing, and it's like full up practically. I was telling because Liz and I were trying to figure out. I guess we can we can still get our tickets for. Um, we should do that soon. But um, you, just because she's not gonna be able to do the Thursday night showing, and I just like I I need to see it on Thursday night. And the idea of seeing it in a full packed like it's gonna be a completely packed IMAX theater. Um, so I'm super excited to see that movie in a, a jam packed a you know midnight showing theater. Uh, that's gonna be an experience. Uh, that I don't want to uh, miss, so um, might book for the Monday night. But I'm probably going to go see it the day after with Liz, so technically it'll be twice in one day, because it's a three-hour long movie, so I'll see it twice within 24 hours. It'll be like Star Trek 09. I went and saw that movie um, once the, the morning it came out, and then um, I saw that movie... Yeah, I saw that movie twice opening day. Once in the morning and then, oh yeah, later that night somebody else was going to see it. That's what it was. My brother, uh, my brother's sister and I, my little sister, Haley. I'm pretty sure Haley. Is Haley still here? She's probably gone. Um, we had gone to see it in the morning, opening day. And then later that night, my brother-in-law and sister were going to see it. And I was like, hey, can I join on it and join along? And so I got to see it twice. And which is good because it was misprojected in the morning, which was really upsetting. You know, they have those like title cards come in in the movie. Well, it was like off the screen. Um, the projection wasn't set up right um, first go around. So second go around, way better experience because I could actually see um, the titles and stuff. I hated going to that theater. They never projected the movies properly and it pissed me off so much. Um, as somebody who loves, like, you know, a, a prime theater experience. The new Endgame trailer is sort of spoilery. Uh, super spoilery. I got gotcha. you. Star Trek 09. Big fan of Star Trek 09. Star Trek 09 is great. See, in my family, I think we're, we, like, the J.J. Star Treks, even, like, all those Star Trek movies are all fantastic. Like, I really like Into Darkness. I know a lot of... Like, you know, because I'm like a longtime Star Trek fan. I grew up watching the original series and Next Generation and Voyager and Deep Space Nine eventually. I came around to that when I was kind of older, but um, uh, and Enterprise a little bit, but and uh, loving the movies. But in general, like, I really like the, the JJ verse movies. I see why some Star Trek fans don't like them, but like, I like those movies. And Benedict Cumberbatch can be anybody. In my thing. You you care about Jorah the Explorer? <laughs> Are you talking about Game of Thrones? Uh, Perks of middle in, uh, living in the middle of nowhere. Nothing is ever sold out. Hey, score. Yeah, it was. I remember back in the day, it was kind of... The question always was, is there a midnight showing for this movie? Nowadays, it's like, of course there is. Um, when I was checking the AMC, they have like... Tw it's... I mean, a 24... Uh, theater theater in the first place, 24 screen theater, but like they have pretty much every single screen playing Avengers that night. There's like no other movie playing at that theater. Uh, it's really insane. Jorah the Explorer. Jorah, Jorah, Jorah the Explorer! Oh my gosh. Jorah is like, I guess he is Boots, isn't he? Anyway. <sighs> What about that Dora casting, though? I haven't looked at it. I haven't, I, it. Is the Dora trailer any good? I have not seen the trailer for it, but I know that that came out recently. Oh, you should see us, point uh, blank. It's good. Dora trailer looks so, so bad. Looks like a Tomb Raider movie. Cast for the movie is bananas. Isn't Jora in that one, or no? And he's like, Dora, you must find... The thing. You know, Jorah is in the Resident Evil movies, and he is hilarious. 
Jorah Mormont from Game of Thrones. He is like, if you haven't seen Resident Evil The Last Chapter, he has the mo the moment in that movie that I laughed out loud at the screen so loud and just like lost it. He gets his hand cut off at one point. Not really a spoiler, but he gets his hand cut off at one point, and his reaction to it is something to behold. Please watch that movie. Machete is boots. Uh, Danny Trejo? Danny Trejo is boots? What? Ian Glenn, that's his name. You're right. Is he Wesker in it? No, he's the, uh, he's like the evil doctor guy. There, I don't think he has an equivalent character to the game. He was just in the original movie. He was in the first movie, right? Yeah, he's been, he's been in a, more than a couple of them, um, surprisingly enough, but new Twilight Zone looks great. Yeah, Trejo's boots. That's so funny, that sentence. Yeah, Trejo, Trejo's boots. <laughs> so, yeah, he's boots, man. Like it's an adjective for people. No, Twilight Zone, I watched the Comedian episode. I really liked it. Um, I, I, I was, I'm was. i going to wait to sign up for CBS All Access once it's all out, but in general. Yeah. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for hanging out. Uh, we made some spicy kale chips today, um, and we made a couple different batches. Um, I think in the end, like I said, uh, make the kale chips, then toss it in some sriracha if you're looking to make some spicy kale chips because that seems to be the way to go because these are delicious now. Don't put sriracha on beforehand. It doesn't do anything but make them spicy and kind of takes away that fruity, not fruity, but like that flavor from the sriracha. There is that little bit of, you know, fruitiness that you get from it. It's gone if you just cook the sauce onto it, so don't do that. But I'm going to eat these kale chips throughout the rest of the day. Y'all so much love to you. Mwah. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you again later on stream. Uh, so much love to you. I hope you're all doing fantastic, and I'll see you all later. Sh should be back uh, tomorrow. What's today? It's Wednesday. Should be back tomorrow. I'm going to try to get some more recording done today. Um, been getting some Isaac recorded um, for the YouTube channel and getting posted here soon. The first episode's going up tomorrow, so be sure to check that out when it comes around if you're a, a fan of my Isaac stuff, because I love playing Isaac, and Isaac's super fun. And I am dancing in a circle, doop doop. This is me moonwalking. I'm moonwalking. Is that illegal to do now? Okay, what's happening? More for you to edit. I actually did. I edited the second episode, Titan. I'm sorry. It was. It was what's rendering right now. But yes, Resident Evil. I'm going to record that later too, and you're going to have plenty to edit, sir. Well, everybody, so much love to you. I'll see you all later. Oh, there's no screen there. I'll just put the welcome screen there. Goodbye, everybody. So much love to you. Bye.